decides to bomb the wild Eric. Yes, he does. Easy job. The bullfrogs are far away. And it looks as though the Soviets are tacking up to Tier 2 because a super reactor was being built by Kiwi. Kiwi brings some of his forces into the center of the map, into the central ridge. And here we have an interesting move by 3D Kid. He's building a seaport and he's using his the long range of the Allies command center of the Allies mobile construction vehicle to do that. Kiwi, our Soviet player, is trying to sneak a and we've got some bombing going on here. Did a lot of damage, but didn't actually destroy anything. Three bombs, and as I said, Kiwi is taking a terror drone deep into the water to see if there's any kind of expansion going on. So he's had some nice, successful bombing runs by the 3D Kid. But there's no way he's going to get through this force here. With these bullfrogs, the bears, and the sickles, there's really nothing Blue can do with that. However, with Blue building a seaport, he's cranked out two dolphins. And those dolphins basically are going to control the water. Green has no airfield. Green has no um, no naval yard. The only thing Green can bring into the water is the And dolphins just eat up territory. The dolphins are going to work on the ore refinery expansion in the water. Here comes the Terradrone. If he has any micro at all, yep. The dolphin one shot the Terradrone. The Terradrone just cannot withstand a dolphin. And this Terradrone, again, if this guy has any micro at all, if 3D Kid sees it at all, it's dead. So he's given that up. Now, Kiwi is attempting to build a third refinery on the central ridge. The 3D Kid already has a refinery on the ridge. So Kiwi is going for three refineries, and plus he has a oil barrack. The 3D Kid has up to tier two now, and he sold the, the seaport that he had built. And Kiwi is doing a nice scouting job here, a Soviet player. So blue is now up to tier two, green is to do who knows what. Oh, Green has successfully got his sickle into the walled ore collection area, meaning he'll have to sell his walls as he just did. And what else is Green doing? I'm not sure. Let's watch this interaction here. I don't think will the prospector live. It does. The prospector lives. And 3D Kid even killed the terror drone surprise that came out of that dead sickle. Now he's going to go repair that prospector. So taking a look at our forces here in the central ridge. Five tanks, three javelin soldiers, two dogs, and a peacekeeper. The forces look like they're about the same. The bombers could give Green some problems though, depending on what the bombers do. So let's take a look, and Blue is doing a nice job with the Dolphins scouting. And let's see what Green is doing to try to scout Blue. Green used a man cannon to hurl a bear into Blue's base in an attempt to use their top secret protocol to bomb the area. Fortunately, Blue moved his prospector out of the way, having seen that, and survived it. It did a lot of damage, but it didn't destroy the prospector. And the, a blue dog, the Allies attack dog, is not able to scout green. And so we've got a big tank battle on, on our hands brewing at some time soon, I think. And the bombers continue to go to work. And they managed to take out a, an ore collector by the Soviets, so that's a little bit of a victory for the blue player. Nice for 3D Kid. This game is still at very even at this point. And Green is bringing his MCV in with his tanks. He's activated the secondary power of the tanks. Two, four, six tanks. About six flak troopers. 
I don't see a couple of bears, maybe one or two bears. I think these black troopers will be vulnerable to dogs. And we've got a... The cryocopter shrunk the MCD. Probably a very wise decision. Blue is using the repair build radius of the armor facility to help his tanks. The cryocopter goes down, shattering into a thousand pieces before going near the ground. The MCD plants itself in the ground. Blue's got a lot of building. And Blue's up to tier two now, tier three, because he's up to tier three because he's got a, a Mirage tank. Wow. That Mirage tank was a big help, but Blue has basically fought off this attack. Oh, but the MCV for green goes in and it crushes the Mirage tank, it crushes a, a, a Guardian tank. Another Guardian tank is, is frozen by the Sassus Ray. Oh, we got the engineer has taken over green's construction yard, or blue's construction yard. So the, the Allies player 3D kid has lost his construction yard. TV is now using his... his and the engineer is going to go for the armor facility as well. It gets stopped by the cryocopter. And, wow, Green has taken a big advantage here. He's now planting his MCD into the ground. I'm not sure what he's got planned. And the MCD has been shrunk again. So it is vulnerable. But Green took a big advantage there. He's, Green has, Kiwi has several tanks that he can still use. He can't, he doesn't have any anti-air to do anything about the cryocopter. And he decides to sell his MCD as well. So Green is at a big advantage right now. He's probably gained about 6,000 in credits, having sold two MCVs. Bear goes in. The engineer's going to die. So right now, Blue has no MCV, no no armor facility. So Blue cannot rebuild his construction yard. Green can build a construction yard if he wants, and he's building up some anti-air, a lot of tanks, and a lot of infantry. Gr Blue still has one Mirage tank, a heroic Guardian tank. So these two forces basically are going to tell the tale of the who's going to win this game. Um, Green can build an MCV out of his war factory. That'll take one minute, and I don't know if he wants to give away one minute of build time. Now, as this is going on, although Blue has lost a lot, wow, that was he just barely froze that. That that ore collector froze about a tenth of a second before he dropped the bomb. I think he was desperate and he just sent his bomber in there just to do that. And just he just happened to hit it on time. And I guess Green was planning something and decided to give up on that. So basically that tree there, that's a Mirage tank, I think. And then there's two Guardian tanks here, lined up with some infantry and it's going to go up against this force of the Soviets. This does not look good for Blue. It'll be depend, I guess, what the bombers can pull off. And there goes the Mirage tank, so maybe Green saw that. I'm not sure. Green has not rebuilt his his 